Hello and welcome back to the How To segment. My name is Scott Neal, and as a Windows IT administrator, it really does become easy to become overly dependent upon the GUI interface to accomplish our day to day activities, including adding domain users and groups to our Active Directory. So, today I wanted to show you how you can use a command line utility, the DSAD utility, to add Active Directory users and groups even in bulk. So, just to recap, what is an Active Directory user account? Well, most organizations use domains as a means of facilitating access to the resources that they have. So, domain user accounts have the ability to access these resources on the network. Things like shared folders, printers, and even logging into the computer itself is all accomplished by domain user accounts for most of our users. The Active Directory user accounts are created along with all the information and group associations with that user and then they're stored in an Active Directory database which is then replicated to any other domain controllers you may have in the domain for redundancy purposes. The standard command line tool, DSAD, is a great tool for creating and managing Active Directory leaf objects and I can use it in concert with batch files, text files, and even common delimited files to facilitate management, addition, and even deletion of user and groups in bulk. So if we take a look at these two examples of using DSAD, we have the ability to use DSAD singularly as we did in this group and adding a group specifically uh, to a particular container or organizational unit within our domain tree. And if we want to take that a step further, we have the ability to add users and groups in bulk tens, hundreds, even thousands of users at a time using the Active Directory uh, command line DS add. So I wanted to demonstrate that to you and I have set up a, a brief demonstration using my domain controller here today. What we're looking at right now in the Active Directory Users and Groups container here is we're actually looking in a container called Groups in my Active Directory tree. And if you don't know how I came up with this container Groups, uh, because adding containers in Active Directory is not uh, set up by default. I do have a brief tutorial on how you can set up containers. A container is not an organizational unit. Uh, it is simply a container and I've chosen to put all my groups in this container to organize things a little better in my Active Directory. Anyways, as you can see, there are quite a few groups in here that I can use for my uh, Active Directory users or computers on the network, but there's one more I really would like to add and I think I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So, uh, just for the interest of time, I'm going to go ahead and copy that and say this line here and I'm going to paste this into my command line prompt here. Now I have opened this uh, as an administrator and as you can see I have also uh, navigated to my desktop in the command prompt using the change directory command. So I'm in my desktop in the command prompt and I'm just going to paste this command in here and I'll, let me walk you through it real quick. So I'm using the dsadd command what are we adding? We're adding a group. What are we adding? The hr group in the groups container for fishychicky.com and if I hit enter it gives me a success and if I go back into my container here for groups and refresh it you'll see that the HR group is now created great because I've got a lot of users that belong to the HR group in this user list here that I need to add this user list uh, was given to me by the HR department today. As you can see, they've been very busy hiring people in the last few days, and they've generated a list, conveniently enough, of all the new users I need to have in the system by the end of the day. There's literally a hundred users here. And as you can see, there is no column headers, but as you can see also that these are uh, certainly divided into five columns. Uh, they are common delimited, and the first column represents the last name of the user, the second column represents the first name of the user along with the middle initial in the third column, the user account, and then last but not least, what department that they belong to, which conveniently corresponds to my groups in Active Directory. There are literally dozens of different parameters that I can ask HR to furnish to me as part of their uh, export from Excel or some other HR application uh, into this text file. So if I wanted to add a, a description for the user, their telephone number, uh, the address of the user, 
and so on and so forth, there are parameters set up for DSAD that will allow me to uh, facilitate adding that into these fields. But for the sake of today's demonstration, this will work brilliantly. So I am going to, uh, let me go ahead and close out of this. Uh, as you can see, that text file is the user list.txt, and this is the command for that right here uh, that I am also going to copy in the interest of time and paste it into here. So let me walk you through this. So this piece here, this is 4F, it goes all the way to user list.txt. This is all to facilitate importing this user list into uh, the DSAD utility. So the tokens one through five corresponds to the five different comma delimited um, columns that are in my text file. And I can even, it even says delims equals comma to tell it it is comma delimited. And you'll see that there is this variable A here that's associated here. That actually is going to correspond to this very first column. And once I've assigned that variable, and that just randomly chose A, it could have been C, it could have been F, it will know that each uh, letter will be sequential. So it knows that this is A, so therefore this will be B, this will be C, this will be D, and this will be E. So there are five columns with variables A, B, C, D, and E, respectively. So uh, that's going to play a part as I read you the rest of this. So this is, of course, in the user list.txt file, and then we're going to do what we're going to do. We're going to, in parentheses, dsadd, what are we adding? A user. And how are we going to set that user up and where is it going to rest in the domain tree? Well, that user is going to be cataloged as first name, column B, last name, column A, where? In the users folder in fishychicky.com. So that's where these accounts are going to rest in my Active Directory tree. Then I can begin to fill out the parameters uh, for the user profile. So first name is variable B, last name variable A, middle initial is variable C, and the display name is in quotation marks because I want it to be exactly as listed here. So variable B, which is their first name, and variable A, last name with a space in the middle. Then I have this SAM ID. SAM ID really corresponds to the actual user account the user is going to use to log into the network. So that is column D. They are going to be a member of, and that's where the group in the last column uh, is needed. So that is going to be, and where is that going to be in the domain tree is what it's asking you for. So once again, we have to tell it, we're going to say this is going to be variable E for the group. That group is in the groups container in fishychicky.com. Then I did set a password. Uh, that password is here. And then I uh, turned uh, said for disabled. I don't want it to be disabled. So I want the account enabled by default. And so I just said no for the disabled. So that's essentially what this um, command will do. Uh, and when I hit the enter button, it's going to import this uh, user list.txt file, and then it's going to run through each of the users and add them. So why delay? Let's go ahead and see what happens. As we can see, we have generated a lot of stuff here, and we're still running through. Still going, still going, still going. We're done. We have done a hundred Active Directory users in less than 20 seconds. And if I go into my user groups here, you'll see all of a sudden we have lots and lots and lots of users by refreshing. So let me refresh and you can see all of my users have been populated into the users folder. So if I go in and I say properties and look at the user, you see it even puts in the group of that user. That's slick. And I can, like I said before, I can use this to populate any of these fields that you see here. So if I want a description, office, email, and so on, I have the ability to populate all of these fields using DS Add. So if you work and correspond with and, and, and work in unison with your HR department, you can create an application or create some sort of Excel spreadsheet that they fill out for every new user. Then at the end of the evening, they export it 
uh, into a share folder and then at night you can have this batch file kick off that has this DS add command in it set up just the way you want it and it will when you come in the next day it will have all of your Active Directory users automatically populated into your Active Directory database you may have to do a little tweaking here and there but it works phenomenally so I hope you have found this brief tutorial helpful give you some uh, creative ideas on how you can actually start using command line utilities to make your job a little easier. When we come back next time, we'll have some more great how-to tutorials for you, uh, particularly in Active Directory, and I look forward to seeing you then. Thanks a lot.